Hi folks, Jackie here. I'm kind of giggling because I just did this video and um, went to edit it and deleted it instead. Yep, that's what I did. Okay, so here we go for a second time. Uh, sometimes you need a, a second go around, right? All right, so here is my wizarding journal that I made for my daughter. Commissioned me to make this for a friend of hers um, whom I know and love. And um, so as I had said in the last video, it was a bit of a challenge for me because it's very dark and um, I have a hard time getting inspired when I'm making um, dark journals. But I think it came out really well. You will see that there's lots and lots and lots of journaling space in here, lots of blank pages for photographs and whatever. Hi, Coops. Yeah, that's Cooper. Say hello. Say hi. Okay, now get down. Off you go. Okay. So this is the cover. I showed you how I did that in a video before. And, um, you know, use some die cuts and one of the pages from the um, kit. I bound this with black ribbon. I wanted to give that a try. I've never done that before. Um, never seen anyone use a ribbon, actually. I'm sure someone has. And I like the way it came out. I like the little bit of texture it makes on the book and um, just interest. And again, I used, you know, that silk fabric for this. Oh, and I wanted to say I added lots of this cheesecloth. It's a green and black. And this came from um, a dress up pirate type thing that I had in my dress ups when I had the daycare. And when I was getting rid of some of that stuff, I just pulled this off and kept it. And it came out great. And I, you know, I left it shabby down here. Hope the lighting is okay. It's still dark here when I'm doing this video. It's early morning. So inside the cover, I have this pockets. I filled with some ephemera. Really like this page. And I added a bunch of this stuff at the bottom and some at the top. This page has a nice little tuck spot and I added, I am having to go through and, and add my, I know when I was doing this, my glue was not working nicely. And um, so hopefully I can fix that up. All right. And so here in this belly band, I have an envelope. The coffee dyed paper in this journal and any of the coffee dyed envelopes you see are from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. She has lots and lots and lots of beautifully coffee dyed um, ephemera and paper. Um, take a look. It's Vintage Polka Dot Shop, Emily. Tell her I sent you over. And um, so these are all the little sentiments of pieces that I cut out and I wanted her to be able to have in this. So I'm tucking this right under and placing my big old paper clips. Love these. I think they're so fun. And I'm clipping that right in like that. And you could use this envelope for whatever she can. This was the straw paper, um, a piece of ephemera that I made. This paper is from Medieval M Mirage and there's a coffee dyed paper in the pocket. These pages were from um, Operation Reprint. I'll put that information below, as well as Emily's. This is a little matchbook type um, pocket. I just put that in there. Here's a paper bag to use for whatever you would like. Here's a nice little um, tuck spot pocket. Um, and so there's the pocket here. And then this is just an index card and it's the tuck spot here. Pages that I put writing lines on and a little bit of a cluster down there. This is another large pocket. It has a pocket here and a pocket here. Um, these, this is from Artie Mays and Tracy Fox collaboration bookmarks. If you look at them, you can find it. And I stitched around. I really like how this came out. And I thought that it went really well with this wizarding journal with the mushrooms. I'm sure wizards use 
mushrooms in all their potions. I left um, the strings long when I did the um, binding. See, doesn't it look really nice in there? I like that a lot. I will do that again. The other side of that bag. Here's one of these uh, Tim Holtz tight pockets that I have just stuck ephemera behind. I left it for a pocket in the back and lots of places for little ephemera or photos or little um, sentimental things. I just, I really love that backing. And this is the second signature. So if you notice here, you'll see that I did not put these exact. I offset them. I thought it would just be interesting to try um, since my, my cover of this journal was um, a big enough that I could um, have, I could have just centered it, but I wanted to try offsetting it to see what it would look like. And I think it came out great. Tuck spot, another envelope. Inside this envelope are more um, little pieces of ephemera tags and things and then I just had a couple pieces that I thought looked cute just sitting on top and I offset my paper clips as you can see one is there and one is here just so it would make interest popping out this is another one of the pockets, Medieval Mirage paper. And I didn't um, glue this one in because I loved the back of this. And I think I just did this on a paper bag, a piece of paper bag, and then the straw paper with another um, little thing, little coffee dye in there with another little paper clip to hold that in. And my ribbon does not want to stay tight on there. It just doesn't. I'm gonna have to put a little staple or glue or something on that. Okay, here's a little matchbook type like that. And that goes around like that. And a little paper bag. Here's another pocket for some goodies. And the ribbons hanging out. This was a pocket that I had made, and it has a little matchbook um, notebook. You can either tear these out for use for ephemera or write in here. It's made with fabric. <clears throat> Another one of these Tim Holtz type um, tuck spotty things. in the back. And these are just pages that I didn't use, so I tucked them in there. All right, and that is it. And so I hope you enjoy this journal. I'd love to hear your comments about the ribbon binding and just um, anything about this journal. Give it a, a thumbs up if you um, enjoyed it and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would be greatly appreciated, and I will see you again. This will be a little bonus video today, but I'll see you again in the next video. Have a wonderful day.